Long Island got in the groove tonight for the grand opening of the Long Island Music and Entertainment Hall of Fame's new home. News 12's Tama Ponton live in Stony Brook Village with a look inside. Tama, exciting stuff. Exciting. Did you just say we got in the groove? I love that, Doug. We talked to members of Twisted Sister, EPMD, Zebra, who performed on this very stage behind me, and even Carol and Paula from the Magic Garden. I know you remember that, Doug. All of them were not only excited to see and meet each other, but also to finally see inside the new home of this museum that has been years in the making. It's incredible. I'm blown away by it. The new home of the Long Island Music and Entertainment Hall of Fame is even impressing some of the Long Island legends of music and entertainment who the museum is dedicated to. It really is amazing. So it's great to come in and see all the Twisted System memorabilia, but really what's getting me is watching the people being so excited about what's going on here. Today is the grand opening of the permanent home of the Hall of Fame Museum in Stony Brook Village that honors the musicians and entertainers who are from Long Island or made the island their home. Before we used to always have to go to Manhattan to get recognized or go out of states. Now, you know, Public Enemies from Long Island, EPMDs from Long Island, De La Souls from Long Island. We have so much talent in Long Island that we're getting the support. Included in the museum, memorabilia from just about every musical genre, including rock, pop, hip hop, and classical. And my grandfather's guitar work, as well as his stance as a um, funk blues icon, has been cemented here at the, at the Long Island Music Hall of Fame. There are also exhibits, like a replica of a stage from the 1970s, clothes from some of the performers, and iconic items that are a catalog of Long Island's musical and entertainment history through the decades. This is the 50th anniversary of the Magic Garden, so this is really a big year. And to be in a situation like this, it feels like such a celebration we can hardly see straight. It's wonderful. This museum opens to the public officially on Friday at noon. You can come and take a look. Doug?